All right, we're here today to uh, learn how to load the uh, coaxial magazine for the Aeroflex SR2. See here we have our camera, uh, we have our film, and we have our changing bag, the three essential uh, components for successful loading and unloading. To start loading the feed side, it needs to be done entirely within the changing bag. We need a light, tight environment. Ready to go into the changing bag, um, I'm going to go in with my can of film and my magazine. Noting that there are two zippers, an internal one and an external one ensures the light tight environment. Your arms go through the uh, sleeves provided and you want to make sure you put these pretty high up, make sure they're snug and also you want to make sure that if you wear a watch with any sort of iridescence on it um, that you go ahead and remove that before going into the changing bag. Now I'm ready to load. We're going to start with the feed side. Once inside the changing bag with your magazine and your can of film you will at this point open the magazine by pressing on the red safety lock button rotating the, the latch to the uh, horizontal position and opening the magazine. So within the changing bag, we'll go ahead and open our film can. Now, uh, for factory sealed film cans, you'll have tape that surrounds the can. You'll be peeling that off, opening the can, removing the, uh, the film, which should be safely encased inside a light, tight black plastic bag. Now remember, you're not going to be able to see all this because this will be inside the changing bag. This will all be done by feel. Um, and then you'll also have to remove this bit of uh, factory tape that binds the film together. Now it's important that you know what to do with this tape. Generally, I like to stick this in the bottom of my film can. That makes, sure, that makes me assured that this is not going to end up somewhere in my magazine and, and damage my film. Okay, let's orient this the proper way. As you see, again, you won't have the assistance of sight, but you see that the arrows indicate that the film will travel in this direction. And uh, when you get a 400 foot roll, um, it'll be a larger diameter or larger circumference. And it will generally take up the entire um, chamber on this take up side or this feed side of the magazine. Um, so, what I like to do is I like to actually remove. Um, this core adapter, place it in the core, and then spool off about 18 inches of film, and go ahead and kind of run this into the uh, slot here. And go ahead and thread the first part of this magazine, making sure that I have at least a good 12, 18 inches already threaded through to make sure I don't pull it back in and start over again. And then go ahead and seat everything with on, with on the stem here. Just take notice of the square shapes here, the corresponding square shapes, and that it's not going to simply be a case of resting it on and having it um, seat itself properly. Those have to be aligned. So it takes a little bit of trial and error. But as you see, that carefully rotating the roll of film around and finding the um, edges of that square and allowing them to align. Again, I'm, uh, I'm going ahead and seating this properly. It's important within this situation to make sure that you always have control over your material. You never let the outside, outer edges of the uh, film roll start to spool off. And you make sure that you don't get any pinched underneath the roll, that it's all freely moving once you have it seated on the stem. Next, what I'll do is I will move in the uh, film guide or film roller, making sure that the uprights are cradling the roll of film and not resting on the edge of the film. And with that, making sure that these wings are folded down on the core adapter, I'm ready to close the chamber door, moving this latch to a vertical position, folding it back making sure it's indeed closed and that I haven't pinched any of the changing bag material within the door. Now I'm ready to take this 
outside of the changing bag. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how much film I need from my loop. And I can pull as much as I want out, but to take back up, I need to manually move this roller here. Airflex provides a notch on the underside of the magazine that allows proper measurement. What I'll do is I'll just hold it to the notch, take up the slack, kind of just let it be nice and relaxed, and I've got the proper amount of film for a good loop. Um, once you have this, you want to make sure you don't pull any additional out. You'll have to remeasure if you do so. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the end of this thread of film back up into the magazine, specifically the take-up side, which is on the bottom part of the magazine. I'm going to make sure that threads up correctly, and that's moving well and fluidly. And next, I'm just going to double-check my loop against the pressure plate, applying it to the pressure plate, making sure that the bottom half of the loop and the top half of the loop are not scraping against the magazine, and that it's not so short that it wants to bow off the pressure plate, that it's just nice and relaxed and um, resting there on it. Now I remove it from the pressure plate um, in order to advance some through and secure it in the take-up side. To secure this in the take-up side, you will need a core. You need to apply that to the core adapter. And every core has a little notch on it that you can actually put the film into, and it helps kind of secure that in place. What I like to do is fold the end of the film twice, fit it into the uh, little notch there provided. And I want to go ahead and roll up probably like five or six revolutions and make sure that it's nice and snug and that it's not going to pull off. Once again, I bring the roller in, and I make sure that it is resting against the film roll and the edges aren't resting on top of the edge of the film. Then I'm going to close the chamber door, again moving the latch to the vertical position, pressing it back, and indeed making sure that it is closed. Now what I'll do is once again I will apply the film loop to the pressure plate. Applying it to the camera, locking it in position, moving the battery in place, and I am ready to test this magazine and eventually shoot with it. And that concludes our little tutorial today about how to load and unload the Aeroflex magazine.